Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own mobile game or app using Scratch, PhoneGap, and GitHub. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just open up your web browser. And we're going to go to scratch.mit.edu. Once you're there, you're simply going to want to click on the Create tab. Now from here, you can make whatever project you wanted to turn into a mobile game. I'm just going to make a simple project just to for this tutorial. So it's not going to be very advanced, it's just going to be good enough for this tutorial. So, yeah. Okay, so I made a very simple app. Basically, there's two buttons, and the button on the left makes the object I made rotate left, and the button on the right makes the object I made rotate right. So very simple app, I just made it just for this video. Keep in mind that your project will need to have touchscreen controls in order for it to work on a touchscreen. However, if your project has keyboard support, if somebody connects a Bluetooth keyboard to their phone, it will work too. So once you have made your project, uh, you can give it a name if you want. I'm gonna name mine Android app example, and you're going to want to share it. Only It only has to be temporary though. Now we are going to want to copy this number. So for the next step, you're going to want to go to sheeptester.github.io slash words dash, dash go dash here slash scratch three dash HTMLifier with fire now for the project title you're going to want to set it to whatever you're going to name your app for the project ID just set it to uh, that number we copied earlier and for the username block well if your project doesn't use the username block this doesn't matter however if it does just set it to something generic like uh, Steve or something so uh, yeah I don't know uh, so now you're going to want to click the HTML file without minification and it will download a project.html folder okay so uh, once you have downloaded your project.html you are going to want to uh, create a uh, new folder and just drag it in there just to make things easier and we will rename it to index.html now from here, we are also going to want to make a new file called config.xml and we are going to want to open it with your preferred text editor and we are going to want to look up phonegap uh, config template. So the first result should bring you to this article right here from the documentation. Now you're going to want to scroll down and you're just going to want to copy this example config.xml file and you're going to want to paste it into your text editor. Now from here you can change the name of it to whatever you want. I'm going to do Android app example again. Uh, set your description to whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to name it just example for YouTube. Set your version to whatever. And for your ID, you're going to want to change this because if you download another program named com.phonegap.example, then your phone will probably think that's an update. So just put something that nobody else will probably copy. I'm going to put a example, so the A for Android. I guess I'll just do Android example. don't know why I capitalized the R, but whatever. And for the author, just put your name, so Pizza Loving Nerd. You can also put in your website for the ref and your email for the email if you want to. You don't have to. Okay, so for the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add a uh, quick line. We're going to name it icon source equals and then icon.png. And then uh, 
we're gonna end our uh, function or whatever it's called there and save so now you're going to want to open up your preferred icon editor or f uh, just image editor and we're going to make a new icon and let's do 512 by 512 now from here we're gonna make a custom icon for our app now I'm just gonna make a crappy low icon I don't know why just I feel like it so lol am I right and you know what let's make it transparent just to add a little less pain to somebody viewing this icon on a phone or something yeah I'll just fast forward through until I'm done okay we're done it's beautiful anyways I would recommend not having your icon cut off on the corner because it might look bad on some things like Android phones where it like uh, or on, on Android phones, it shows the whole icon. So I will make it not be cut off a little, just be cut off a little bit less, just to make it look better on Android phones. There we go, I guess. That's that's our icon. So now we're gonna want to save it into our directory as icon.png. So once it's saved, we can just uh, put it there, and yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to github.com, create an account if you haven't yet, and click on the new button. Now, uh, from here for the repository, you can put whatever you want. I'm going to put Android app example. For the description, I'm going to do Android app example, but once again, you can put whatever you want. And make sure it is set to public. Then hit create repository. Now from here, we're going to click this thing right here that says, this link that says creating a new file. And we're going to want to select all of these files right here. Oh wait, not creating a new file, sorry, wrong thing. Uh, uploading an existing file. And now we're going to select all of our files in our directory by either just drag and dropping your mouse cursor to select all of them or hit Control A. And you're going to hold Shift and drag and drop your files over to GitHub some reason only one of them actually uploaded there we go so this will upload both of our files here so once done hit commit changes and your files are now stored on github so yeah now once you're done you're going to want to copy this and then we're gonna visit build.phonegap.com now you will want to sign in or sign up um, which I'll just sign in really quickly there we go, I'm signed in now. <laughs> and we're gonna wanna click on new app, and we're gonna wanna click on open source, and then paste in your repository, and hit pull from .git repository. Now as you can see, our Android app is showing up. Now all we have to do is click on ready to build, uh, and then if you click on public page, or not, uh, not public page, if you click on the name of the app, it will show that a build for Windows Phone 8 and for Android are pending. Now you can get an iOS build too, it's just you have to have a signing key and that costs money because you have to buy it from Apple, so this tutorial will only cover Android. Now uh, once it's done, you can either click the install button to uh, download either one, or you can scan this QR code. So yeah, I'll be scanning uh, a, a QR code because it makes it easy for me. I actually got this nice QR code scanner called uh, Binary Mine. So I'm just going to scan this really quickly, and boom, there we go, it has the link for my uh, app. So now I can just open this up with my web browser, and it will download. There we go, it's downloading. So uh, yeah, you're just going to want to download your APK onto your phone or whatever, your Windows phone or your Android phone or tablet or whatever, or even Chromebooks I guess. You're going to want to open it. And click the install button right here. So uh, hit the install button right here. So I know it's blurry. Sorry, I'm doing this through my webcam. And it will install. And it will say app installed. So then you can click uh, open. And it will say uh, this app is made for an older version of Android and may not work properly. However, you can just ignore that and hit OK. So now, as you can see, your app is running. 
So uh, if you put it into, uh, whoops, whoopsies. If you put it, ah, oh, come on. What did I even just open right now? <laughs> if you put it into uh, portrait mode, as you can see, now my app is portrait mode. So it won't run full screen because, you know, it's a scratch app. However, my app made in scratch is now running on a phone as its own standalone app. So actually, if I go into my app drawer on my phone, uh, the background that Android gave it is green, so it's a little bit hard to see. However, uh, right here, where is it? Uh, I have two of these on because I made two. Uh, this is my second attempt at this video. However, you can actually see it right here. My Android app is right here, and it's got its own custom icon, although it's kind of hard to see. So, yeah, it's on my home screen now, and then I can open it up. So anyways, thanks, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helps somebody out, and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, like. If you disliked it, then dislike it. If you want more videos like this, subscribe, and if you have any questions, comment. Anyways, see ya.